everybody. Uh, thank you for coming. My name is Dean Trentalis, the mayor of the city of Fort Lauderdale, and I want to thank you all for being here today. With me here is uh, the vice mayor of the city of Fort Lauderdale, uh, Commissioner Steve Glassman. Thank you, Steve, for being here this morning. Thank you, ma'am. Also, our city manager and our deputy city manager, Chris Lagerbloom and Rob Hernandez. Thank you all for being here. Also present are Brooke Little, the chief operations at AMR, as well as Lieutenant Colonel Adam Curry and Captain Alex Rep of the uh, Florida National Guard. Gentlemen, thank you all for attending the, today's uh, opening event. Uh, special thanks to uh, our fire chief, uh, Rhoda May Kerr, and our police chief, Rick Maglioni. Again, thank you all for being here. Uh, why is this so important? Why are we here this morning? Uh, we have several major announcements to make regarding our progress in the fight against the COVID-19 virus in our community. We are greatly expanding testing capacity. We are also beginning to reopen some amenities for people who, to enjoy while still maintaining the necessary hygiene and social distancing requirements. According to the latest data from the Department of Health, the greater Fort Lauderdale area has witnessed a significant improvement in the key medical criteria set by the Centers for Disease Control, the CDC. There has been predominantly downward trajectory in new infections for 17 days in Broward County. Actually, the last two days have had the lowest number of new positive results in more than a month. As a percentage of total tests, we're also in an improved position. Positive test results account for less than 11% of the total testing in the number of cases. These are true indicators of a trend of success. I want to thank our residents. I really want to thank our residents, our business people, and those who continue to conduct themselves in our, in our city for adhering to the stay-at-home orders and the other emergency restrictions that have been in place. It is because of your adherence to these important regulations that we are stemming the spread of COVID-19. I know back in the middle of March, everyone was shaken by the fact that we closed our beaches, we ended spring break. People were saying, what the heck is the mayor doing? Well, here we have the results. Success is at our doorstep. The community responded admirably as the pre unpredictable and unprecedented situation, and we all know that will take time. One of the most important steps that we must take to ensure our, he our health and safety is to continue to expand testing, and that's what brings us here today. I'm pleased to announce the opening of the first testing site within our city. This centrally located site will allow us to better serve our residents in conjunction with the recently opened facility at the Urban League just outside the city boundaries. Most of the other testing sites are located far out in the Broward's western suburbs. This new testing will provide the critical help for business to reopen and allow us to gauge the infection rate in our community. How do I get an appointment? You do so by simply calling 1-800-209-7919. That's 1-800-209-7919. Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Upon arrival, in, uh, individuals should use the federal highway entrance, that's the, that's the western entrance, and provide proper identification that has name, date of birth, and photo. There will be a separate entrance for first responders who need to be tested, and community pools to reopen on a restricted basis beginning this morning. Parks have reopened for passive use only so people can get out and enjoy more places to walk and exercise. Individual groups of more than 10 people are prohibited and social distancing of six feet is required. Tennis courts, racquetball courts, and pickleball, ball, pickleball courts are open for singles play only. Remember, not all park amenities are reopening as we seek a balance with public health. Playgrounds are fountains. Again, to reassure the public that we are trying to maintain safety within our community. Boat ramps and marinas are allowed to open from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. with some restrictions. On the waterways, boats must remain at 50 feet apart at all times. Rafting up, tying up, beaching, anchoring, and landing of boats is prohibited, and the sandbar will remain closed. Kayak and canoe launches can stay open, and water taxis can restart, again, provided that social distancing requirements are respected. So Fort Lauderdale is the Venice of America. 
and we are again trying to allow our residents to enjoy our waterways again, as long as it is done in a safe manner. Before the original emergency orders went into effect, we were very concerned about scenes of mass partying on the water, particularly at the sandbar. Actions like that can help uh, the virus spread. They take certain measures to protect public health. We heard from many association leaders that these pools are a vital part of exercise, even physical therapy, for their residents. It was important to provide them the opportunity to re return to these activities safely. So these are the first steps. In the coming days, I look forward to the weeks ahead as we revive our economy and revive, revive the health and mental as well as physical in our community. Fort Lauderdale is a great place to live, work, and play. And we will emerge from this pandemic as unbowed and resilient with the spirit of community that has long made us strong. So as we do so, remain vigilant and continue to take the necessary precautions to protect your health and that of your family and loved ones. Colonel Curry, Captain Rep, would you like to make a few comments about the GARS activation here? Thank you, Thank you Mayor, appreciate it. On, on behalf of the Governor and the Adjutant General of Florida, my battalion, 2nd Battalion, 124th Infantry, is proud to be here and proud to serve the, the great citizens of the state of Florida and Fort Lauderdale area. We couldn't do it without the cooperation relationship of the uh, agencies represented here, so thank you. Appreciate all your help. The Florida National Guard continues to stand ready in support of both the local, uh, county, and state leadership as needed. Appreciate it. Thank you again, Mayor. Thank you so much. So behind us you see the tents and the operation will begin tomorrow. We are extremely satisfied because as we've heard from the president, from the governor, from everyone who's involved in, in this effort, testing, testing, testing is, is the key to trying to curb the spread of this disease. So we thank everybody who has appeared here today. Um, we need to get to work, uh, but before we do that, does anyone have any questions with regard to this? Yes, sir. Can, I can't hear you, can you? Spell those out for you. Sure, Chris, C-H-R-I-S, Logger Bloom, it's L-A-G-E-R-B-L-O-O-M. Okay, and what is your title in The city manager in Fort Lauderdale. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So with this site, um, this is the first site in this area, the first drive-through. Um, how's the interaction been thus far with uh, the, the National Guard in trying to execute this? Yeah, the Guard's been amazing and, and have mobilized faster than we ever thought. I mean, literally, we got a phone call on Saturday night just a couple days ago that said this site was approved and uh, here we are Wednesday morning and we're ready to go and so that's uh, that's pretty amazing. And is there is there anything um, any recommendations maybe anything you would improve over that or did you like how it went? No I really liked how it implemented we got the tent put up on Monday and uh, you know our folks from AMR and the guard showed up today on uh, Wednesday we're ready to go Thursday morning and uh, this is really everything we hear says this is what it's going to take to be able to open back up the state and find out you know really what the spread of this virus is and so uh adding 400 people a day is just uh it's just great for for this part of broward county this part of florida and how has the local community's reaction been to uh been to the, the guard presence how have you seen that you know the, the welcome of the you know welcoming of the guard um i can tell you that anytime you set up a site there's always questions and people will say what's that big white tent in the park next to my house uh once we dispel a little bit of that and, and talk about what it truly means and that it is a safe a safely run site um, people have become very accepting and and honestly i think it's going to do a whole lot of good for the community okay and is this your first uh, interaction with the guard if you worked with them before maybe you got hurt? We've worked with the Guard before on, on hurricanes, but this is the first uh, working on any type of a pandemic. You know, we don't go through these often, and uh, um, I can tell you, I uh, you know, can't say enough. It's, it's, it's been great. Great. Is there anything maybe I forgot to ask, maybe something you'd like to add? So I guess what I'd like to add is just to, to all of those folks that are out there at this time stepping up and, and helping Florida, the Guard being a big part of that, you know, we're just thankful. And we're thankful that that's going to provide confidence in the community. I mean, people see it and realize, okay, that, that there is somebody that is reacting and, and taking the reins. And, uh, I, you know, we, we as a community can't thank the Guard enough for being here.